What's up everybody, it's Keg. I'm back with another guide today. I'm going to be showing you another fishing opportunity. Now this is going to be similar to the other one that we just did yesterday, but this one is a lot less um, competitive. There's not as many people here and you can do it at a lower level. You don't have to be max level and you don't have to have max fishing to fish here. The same basic principles apply. We are going to be going up and down Booty Bay from here to here, fishing pools along the coast. It also has the fell eel swarms, the oily black mouths, and the fire fin snappers. And each of those are used in alchemy. And the floating wreckage will allow us to get our uh, mithril bound chests that we can open for maximum monies so for those of you that did not watch the first video what we do is with these mithril bound chests we open them and they have rugged leather thick leather um rune cloth bolts as well as mage weave bolts um and we use tailoring and leather working to turn those into boe greens that we can disenchant and sell those mats on the auction house so i'm a tailor and enchanter so what i do is we look at our tailoring here and we go to rune cloth shoulders. I take the rune cloth and I turn them into these right here. Um, and then these disenchant into top tier enchanting mats, which we can get a lot of money from. Like I've disenchanted one of these and rolled four greater eternal essences. That's 20 gold from one button. And then with the mage weave cloth, we make these black mage weave headbands, which we disenchant for the lower tier. Um, and Enchanting match, Dream Dust, Greater Nether, Large Radiant Shards. Each of those sell about the same as the top tier mats themselves. So when we look at enchanting, the reason this is is because we're in phase one of classic. So enchants like enchant stats plus three, because plus four is very hard to get, takes Large Radiance, Greater Nether, Dream Dust, as well as we have... Um, minor writing skill to gloves great for most casters like a mage i use that on all my gloves um and then we have boots movement speed here which pretty much everyone needs which uses the same tier of mats so now that this pool is done we're going to mount up and look for another like i said one of the biggest things about this is it doesn't take max level fishing and the mobs here are level 40 so you're not really gonna have to worry about dying and you just can focus on fishing gathering those resources and disenchanting and making the oils for alchemy alrighty guys we're back we're approaching that one hour mark I just wanted to show you a quick revision to this path so at first I started to go here just to here but because of how pools work it found it much more effective to go Start either down here, go up here, cut across to Grom Call, just straight through here, and you can find the same exact pools all throughout this coastline. And then you come here and go down, and then you loop around here, cross the water here, look this coastline, and then you cut through here to the entrance, and then restart your pathway. And in an hour, I've gotten this many chests mithril bound chests this loot and so here in a second we're gonna port to town and then see what we get and disenchant it all to get a final number right after this pool i'm gonna start porting so i will see you in a second Whoop! Alrighty, guys and wrap this up so after opening the chests and crafting the we were uh, crafting the rune cloth and mage weave. We were able to get three rune cloth shoulders and seven mage weave headbands. Now, I when I was looking at the auction house, uh, I found a few, little bit extra mage weave and stuffed snag. So that's why you see the gold difference. But now I'm going to disenchant these and show you what we are going to get. Because this is where most of the money is. So two Dream Dust. It's not horrible. 
And yeah, it took us about 15 minutes to craft all these. But bam, look at that. Two greater nethers. That's a big that's big money right there. We also got four BOEs from the um boxes. Bam, look at that. One nether. That's the money. We're we're having so much better luck than what we had yesterday. Another nether. Let's go. So we're up to 40 gold. Alright, and now we're going to disenchant these wonderful BOEs we got. Alright, two dust. Not very good. This sword I've been debating, but I think I'm going to disenchant. Damn, one dream dust. That's unfortunate. Alright, two, two lesser nether. That's good still. Not as good, but still pretty damn good. And bam, look at that. Two more graders. And now we're going to disenchant these rune cloth shoulders. See what we get from those. Five illusion dust. That's good money. Four illusion dust. That's still good money. And then we got one more here. And bam, five. So five, four, four, 14 illusion dust. That comes to 53 uh, gold from just doing that. Now I'm going to send all these fish that we fished up. These fire fin fish, these black oily black mouths, and these stone scale eels to my alchemist to turn those into um, oils for that. And then we have 18 rugged leather and 20 thick leather. That'll make a few boots. As well as we got all this strange kelp. And another thing that I completely overlooked is this Rumsey. Uh, rum label for some reason it procs at 50 copper here. We got 15 of these. It's a 15 stand buff It's great for raiding all tanks want them. Uh, it's just great 15 stam and it doesn't stack with your food buff It's a unique drink buff, I guess um, So these sell for uh, About three gold a stack as we can see right there so that skews it a little bit bumps it up But after I craft these oils sell all these mats I think we'll be at about anywhere from 100, 120 gold total. And that was from an hour of fishing in Stranglethorn following that path. Today was so much better than what we had yesterday. But yeah, I just want to show you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye bye and I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me so much to get content out there and just really support uh, the channels and what we're trying to do here at Kaiko Gaming. So thank you guys so much, and I look forward to making more guides like this to help you earn lots of gold in Azeroth and get that epic mount. Bye bye